Hey there. This is our 302 engine build. Now we're gonna be building this motor to stick in our 65 Ford Mustang. And during this engine build, what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to take every piece of the motor and optimize it and fine tune it the best we can to try to make as much power and as efficiently out of this motor as we can possibly make. Today we're going to start with the air cleaner, something that sounds really simple, but a lot of times is overlooked, and in this example, sitting right here, is actually pretty terrible. And I'm going to show you why. This may not look atypical from what you would see under the hood, but I'm going to show you exactly why this setup right here is not ideal. Now, as you can see, I have just removed the air filter element. This is at the exact same height as it was with the air filter installed. This is what's called a drop base air filter. It's really good for trying to keep the air cleaner low so you have hood clearance, but it comes at a very steep cost. As you can see, any air that's trying to get in has to come and run up against this try to make its way up, and then it will still get bounced off that choke horn and not actually go down the primaries. It might make it down the secondaries when you floor it, but the primaries are getting essentially strangled, choked out. The only air that will actually really get through to the primaries is through this filtered lid, which we happen to have, but a lot of people have a solid lid. So you can imagine how terrible that setup would be. But even so, with this filtered lid, as you can see, this big metal piece right here is directly above the carburetor opening. So not only is the air getting choked from coming in this way, but it's getting choked directly above. The air has to flow around this and make its way through that choke horn. So it has to basically do an S loop to get in. Not that great. So how we're going to go about fixing this scenario is the first thing we're going to do is eliminate this drop base air cleaner bottom. Really good for hood clearance, but we're not looking for convenience, we're looking for power. And we're going to replace this with a drop or a flat base air bottom. See now, once I put this air cleaner on, you can see how much more room there is in here. Imagine flat top here. The carburetor has all this free air space to pull air from to go down. So it's not nearly as restrictive. Now the second thing we're going to do to improve this scenario is we're actually going to change this carburetor main body out for one without the choke horn. This one specifically. But this is going to be on the next episode where we actually rebuild that carburetor. So we're going to exchange it for this, no air horn, so the air has an easier time finding its way down. Also, these are drop leg boosters where these are straight leg. But we'll get more into that in the next episode when we're focusing on the carburetor. Finally, the third thing we're going to do is we are actually going to add a velocity stack inside the air cleaner. Now this one doesn't fit because of the choke horn, but it does fit that other main body I just showed you. So just bear with me here. See now what this is going to do is this is going to streamline and direct the airflow directly into the carburetor, whereas before the airflow coming across the carburetor actually slows down the airflow, slows the velocity, and makes it so it doesn't pull quite as much fuel out of these boosters as it's going down. The velocity stack, as its name suggests, will actually increase the velocity going down into the carburetor because the airflow is being streamlined and it's actually coming and pulling from this area pulling down and by the time it hits 
these boosters, the air is moving fast enough to draw more fuel, more fuel, more air equals a bigger bang. And that's kind of what we're looking for. And also, we're able to hide this velocity stack in our air cleaner just like so. Now we will probably use a taller air filter. This is a two inch. We'll probably use, I don't know, a five inch, four inch air cleaner filter. So this is going to have even more room to pull from. That's the big downside with the velocity stacks is it's kind of hard to have a filter. Well, if you put the stack inside the actual air filter itself, no worries. And it's kind of stealth. And there you go. Looks basically the same, but it's a lot more thought out on how the air is actually going to get into the carburetor to draw the fuel out of the boosters. And sometimes it's the little things that you just kind of overlook that will actually cost you in the end. There was no point in building this high-flowing, high-horsepower motor if you decide to choke it out right up on top with the simple things. Well, like I said before, next episode we're going to rebuild this carburetor using that other main body and actually do a couple of other cool uh, uh, upgrades along the way. So until then, see you next time, and I'll catch you later.